Controversy tonight over a new curfew for asylum seekers in New York City. That's right. Starting tomorrow night, four centers, two in Queens, one in Brooklyn, and another in Harlem will restrict residents from leaving between 11 p.m. and 6 a.m. But some migrants tell us this curfew will make it difficult for them to return from work on late shifts. Eyewitness News reporter Dan Krauth has the story from Harlem. Edwin Mendoza tells me he came to the city to escape gang violence in Ecuador three months ago, along with his wife and three children. They've been living in Astoria, one of the four respite centers ever since. He has been able to find work as a delivery worker, but the company he works for wants him to work primarily at night, after the new 11 p.m. to 6 a.m. curfew begins. He says many of us who work in delivery work at night so we can save money so that later we can get an apartment or at least a room for the family. The city's now requiring all migrants to check in by 11 p.m. There are exceptions for things like work or medical appointments, but an approved pass is needed. Mendoza is now rushing to try and get paperwork from his employer to prove he's working. The curfew comes after neighbors in some communities complained of asylum seekers panhandling after hours, in some cases knocking on doors asking for money. The mayor said on the radio this morning the city's homeless shelters already have the same curfew. I am pissed off and angry about what is happening to our city, and I'm blamed. I'm blamed for the buses. I'm blamed because I don't control the borders, I'm blamed because of the resources that's hit it. I'm blamed for that. And says all migrant shelters could have the same curfew soon. Over the past year, close to 170,000 asylum seekers have traveled to the city, almost double the expected amount. And at least 2,500 continue showing up each week. When I asked Mendoza what his future holds in New York. Que es el futuro para tu familia aquí en Nueva York? Bueno, primeramente poder tener la documentación. He said it's not to be a burden, it's to get documents like a work permit so he can create a home for his family. The city says if anyone breaks curfew three times within 30 days, they can be expelled from the shelter system.